much. Um, just wanted to give um, all the viewers a quick run through on this amazing 900 ST flipper. Um, we were lucky enough to get it and take it up to the Melbourne Boat Show recently, but to see the quality of this boat, you need to come into JV Marine and see it. We have it here on the showroom, undercover. Um, so if it's raining, you can still come in. Um, probably the first thing to point out is the teak uh, floor and the teak deck. So you've got teak everywhere. I can't imagine what this would cost to fit to a boat if, uh, if it wasn't an option, but it's actually standard fitment on this boat all the way through the cockpit, even down the sides on the back and all the way down the sides of the boat. So it's beautiful quality. Um, diamond uh, stitching on the seats. Uh, it is just next level in every area. Um, some of the really, really nifty features. Uh, this bench top lifts up and we have a diesel uh, stove. So it runs on diesel. Um, one of the amazing features of this is that you can, just on the side here's a little vent, so when you've got the, the stove going it acts as a heater as well, so it actually heats the boat up in the winter. Um, having this, this uh, uh, open roof, there's not many boats in this size that you can do that, it's a full convertible, you can have it completely closed over, um, obviously it's not going to leak and it's got a be beautiful velvet lining on the rooftop. Um, you, you can lower this table down electrically with a button here and it comes down to that level and matching seat cushion in there to make it a full sunbed or you know you could sit here and watch the footy or do something like that so um, two fridges so you've got your normal fridge and what we call a champagne fridge so you can open you can put all your champagne in there and have your normal fridge with all your other bits and pieces in here apart from uh, ample storage and, and, and uh, lots of little nooks and crannies to put bits and pieces. They've even thought of fender, you know, you don't want exposed fenders sitting up on the bow rails up the front, so you can put four fenders in there in the side. Um, just to the, the, the built-in um, stainless polished anchor that's built into the hull at the front, Mitch will show you later, but it's built into the front so it's not dangling over the front like a, like a normal boat. Um, Stereo system is now controlled through the Simrad at the front here, so when you turn the Simrad on you can adjust the speakers. We've got, I think, eight speakers on this boat, so you can adjust everything via this. It's all touchscreen, so you don't have to go down and use a remote control or anything like that. Um, electronic um, throttles, these beautiful um, white Mercury's, uh, 225 horsepower. On the way up to the boat show, we did a bit of water testing and managed to, to get uh, the boat around 44 knots, which I think is about 80 to or three kilometers an hour, which is incredible. Um, the, the, the quietness of the hull because of the multi layers and the way it's designed, um, you couldn't hear any, any uh, water underneath the boat. It's quite incredible. Beautiful to drive. Um, standard bow thrusters, trim tabs, underwater lights. Like you can't, I can't think of another option I would want to put on a boat. Um, you lift up here, it's a nice little glove box. They've even thought of putting a new, uh, if you've got a late model um, iPhone, you can Bluetooth charge your phone by leaving it on this little pad here. So that's a great, great option. Fire extinguishers everywhere. Glove boxes, seat, adjustable seats. Um, even to walking up the front and putting bow cushions there so you can sunbake as well. Um, LED lighting all the way through the wood panels on the roof. The detail is just next level. Um, full clears at the back, so you can actually roll the clears up and have that all open uh, and use the sunbed at the back. Um, when the engines are trimmed up in the water, this little piece at the back here lifts up um, hydraulically so that the engines can stay out of the water when you leave it in permanently. Or you can roll all that down and zip it up and really nice snug and waterproof inside. Uh, full stand up toilet shower down here, um, nice storage on this side and a full size V berth up the front. But this is the, this is what I love. This opens up here, I've never seen it on, a, on another boat, it's a completely separate double berth. So you can lock the kids away or uh, have it for storage. It's probably a bigger bed than the one up the front. So you, you nice window at the back so you can look out. It's got curtains. It's got 
all your power plugs um, and lighting as well. So you can, you can, kids can go down there in an iPad. So yeah, this this is um, closes over, so it can actually be a really nice private area. Or again, you can use it as storage and fold this back over to you. Obviously, that clips in better than it does. Uh, dual, dual windscreen wipers, again, storage everywhere. It's a very, very simple, uh, easy boat to drive. Um, goes like a rocket, it's dead quiet. You've got to come into JV and look at this boat. In the